Welcome to Vexi Cutie. My name is Abby, and today, as I promised, we will be building a Vexi Q drive cane. This has 19 steps, and those steps are difficult, so I'm here to walk you through it. Step one, you're gonna need to go to your two by bags, which is the biggest bag for me, and you are going to need your two by bag, and if you go in, you're also going to need your pin bag, your one by pin bags, so these are the singles, the singles, and you're also going to need your motor bag. So undo your motor bag, take your motors, your motor, just one motor is needed for this step. You need six pins. Yes, six pins. And then in your two by bag, you need this piece right here. You're only going to need one of these. You're only going to need one of these. So you take your motor and you attach the six pins, leaving one hole at the bottom, leaving the hole at the bottom empty. So nothing goes in that last hole there. Going two, then two, so that's four. doesn't want to go in. Then you go one here, skipping the hole in the middle. So once you've done this process, it should look like this. Next, you're gonna go over to your piece and you count three holes, which kind of looks like a happy face without the smile. And then you place your thing, your motor into the piece. You are not going to be able to see that third hole, so once you have finished this, this is what it should look like. The pieces you will need for step two will be one collar, one shaft, one gear with nine holes, the middle hole being a square, and the motor assembly we made in step one. So you're going to take the motor assembly and you are going to count one, two, three. The, three, the third hole in the middle, you are going to place your, your shaft into. You're going to take your gear, and the square hole is exactly where you're going to put your shaft, and then your collar on top. For step three, you will be needing two double doubles, two pitch standoffs, one three hole two pin, and one tiny L. Make sure you don't get the tiny L mixed with the large L because they are different and I got them confused. <laughs> okay, so you're going to take your L and place it, the L part to the, le to the left of me. And then, so you're going to have this part facing away from your motor. So it's gonna be like this. Then you're going to take your double double and press that pin through into the last final hole that is not touching the motor. It doesn't matter what side you use for the, for the pin because both sides are double. Now you're going to take your three hole two pin and put the, the two holes into the double double. You will get some extra pin, but that's going to be used for something later. Now you're going to take your two pitch standoffs and put them on the other side. This will be used to hold the two sides together. For step four, you will need two gears like the gears we used before, which has nine holes, and the middle hole being a square. Two collars, one black shaft, and one silver shaft. Okay, so you take your mechanism from step three, which kind of is kind of crazy. Then you're going to take you your black shaft and place it right with 
the, the middle hole sparing. You are going to put it from behind, attach your gear, and then attach your collar. So that when you spin this one, they both spin together. Because I'm not even touching this one with my hands, but when I spin this one, they spin together. Now you're going to take your silver shaft, wait one hole, place your gear, and then place your Sliding it down is the, you're gonna need, your shaft, your shaft is gonna wanna go down, you're gonna need to push it up and then slide this down and then push it up and then slide it down. It's a long process, but it gets there until you have it kind of like this, what you need, so that these both stick up about the same height. For step five, you will need one two by 12 and a mechanism from step four. Take your two by 12 and slide it into place, making the holes match up and the two pitch standoffs go to the end of there. The two, the, the two, the two sections from the double double should slip like that and now you're covered. When you, when you can spin either side and everything will spin which I think this contraption is pretty cool. For step six, you will need two collars and two wheels. The wheels are two parts, so if you, have, if you haven't put them together, you just take the two parts out and put them together. Now you're going to slide your wheel hollow part out onto the longer silver shafts. If you do this side first, it's gonna kinda be like a seesaw, so you can let it be like a seesaw, but it doesn't matter. Do do. Take your collars and place them in. Step seven through 12 are almost the same thing as steps one through six, but this little L is reversed. So if you need guidance between steps one through six, rewind to the end of the, the beginning of the video. And for others, let's move on to step 13. For step 13, you will need four single, single pins, two, two holes, two pins, four double singles pins, one two by eight, and two L large. Start this step off, you take your two L's, placing them where the inside of the L faces inward. Then you grab your double doubles, put it through your L, put two on the bottom side of each one. So they both have one slack on both. Then you can attach it facing inward to your, your two by eight. Now it should look like this. Then you're going to take your singles and place them on the top part of your L. They're going to be used later to connect the two um, wheels together. Now you take your two hole two pins and attach them with the pins facing outward. Now that's all for step 13. Let's move on to step 14. You will be needing your pieces from step one through six, your pieces from step seven through 12, and your pieces from 
num step 13. Align them like, align your pieces like so. And, and go three holes from your shaft and place half of your thing into those three holes. This is really hard to push in, so it should look like this. Then take your other half, align the motor with the other motor, count three holes, and go in. It may fall out the first time you try, but keep trying. should look like this. For step 15, you will be needing one 4x4, one 2x12, and eight single pins. Now you're going to take your 4x4 and align all eight of your pins. You align them leaving the middle empty. So it's four here, four here, three empty. Now that all eight pins are attached, it should look like this. Now you have to count four off here. One, two, three, four. And slide this into place. It should look like this. For step 16, you will be needing two large L's, four pins, and the contraption we made last time, which was in step 15. Now you're going to take your contraption and add, count three holes and add two pins. Should look like this. Now you're going to add your two L's with the L part of the L facing in. Should look like this. For step 17, you will be needing four pins. The contraption we made in step 16 and two one by eights. Flip it over so that your three, the two L's and the square are behind and place it down on a table. Attach your four pins right above your two by eight. Then attach, this is what it should look like. For step 18, you will be needing the contraption from step 17, two double singles, two single singles, a brain, and your contraption from step 14. Attach the double side of your double double all the way through on the far side. Then attach your single singles to the inside. Attach this half to your brain. Then attach the second half to your brain.
the two, three hole, two pins should be connected to your, your, to your, so it should look like this. And now, there's only one more step. For step 19, you'll be needing your thing from step 18 and two connector cables. So you are going, you can't see now because there's so many things around it, but you're going to need to be plugging in this into your motors. It looks like this. We've already have it done on ours. And then you're going to plug the one on my left to connector one. And then the, the next one to connect your six. And now it is done. Hope you guys enjoyed building a drivetrain. I know I've put it down a lot, like I've done another video instead of doing this one, but I feel like it was a good time to do it now. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys follow me on Instagram and subscribe by clicking the red button. Bye.